Hello friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I am showing you today the black square for the Harry Styles patchwork cardigan. The black square is a very simple stitch. I think you're going to like it. I'm trying to make everything look like the knit pattern. When I just looked at a picture on, I think I was on Pinterest, I'm sure I was, I'm always, always in Pinterest or on Instagram or something. So I found a picture of Harry Styles, you can find tons of them around, and I just looked at the sweater that he was wearing. I'm not a knitter, I'm a crocheter, so I looked at the squares as he was wearing it and said, okay, if I was going to make that, what stitch would I use? So I painstakingly came up with all six of the squares and today we're going to show you the black one. However, I'm not going to use black yarn because that will do you no good. I'm going to show you the basics of it with pink yarn. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks for the black. I am using big twist value and I just think it's called black. Yes, it's just black. Big twist value, very economical. I think this goes on sale for $1.99 sometimes. Awesome. So today we're going to make the black rectangle. It is not a square, it is a rectangle. All of my rectangles are approximately five and a half wide by six and a half tall and they all have 19 stitches at the beginning and the end to make them nice and easy when we start to construct our sweater. So everything's going to be as easy as possible. I try to make everything very beginner friendly so that new learners and new crocheters are not intimidated by making something as fun as a cardigan's patchwork sweater. I'm just going to use a pink so it actually shows up because this would not show up at all and you'd be very sad. So we're going to make a slip knot and a five millimeter hook and we're going to do the moss stitch so you can learn the moss stitch today. So not only will you make cool rectangles, you also get, get to learn a new stitch. So we're going to chain 20 loosely because we're going to work in the back bumps. Nineteen and twenty. There's my chain of twenty. Now we're going to take our chain, we're going to flip it over. And you see all these little back bumps. We want to put one single crochet in every one of those back bumps. So there will be 19 single crochets when you are done. And there's number 19. So there's our base row. Our base row for every square looks exactly the same. It's 20 chains and 19 single crochets in the back bump. That way they're all going to fit together nicely when it's time to construct. And I did that on purpose. Took me a little while to get everything lined up just right, but I think it's going to work out perfectly. So what we're going to do is the moss stitch. So right now we're going to chain one and turn our work. And on the very first and the very last stitch of every row on a moss stitch, every row is going to be a single crochet. So there's our single crochet. Boom. Now I want to chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet. Chain one, skip, single crochet. Chain one, skip, single crochet all the way down. And almost to the end. Chain one, there's two stitches left. Skip the first one and go to the last one with a single crochet. Easy peasy. So there's our first row of the moss stitch. Chain one, turn our work. Now we want to be working our single crochets into the chain space that's in between our stitches. So the way that we decide what we need to do first, well of course what we need to do first on every row, there's a single crochet. Now we need to decide, do I need to do a single crochet or do I need to do a chain? 
because we need to work into the spaces, the chain spaces between our stitches. Well, my chain space is right here. It's the very first thing, very next thing. So we're not going to chain, just going to single crochet right into that space. Now I have to chain one in order to get over to the next chain space. Chain one and single crochet. You see how we did that? We just skipped over this the single crochet from the previous row. Here's a single crochet. We want to chain one to skip over the top of that and single crochet into our chain space. Chain one, jump to the next chain space, single crochet. Chain one, jump to the next chain space, and single crochet. All the way down. Right, I'm almost at the end. So there's my next chain space right here, my last chain space. So I did my chain one, single crochet, but now to keep our stitch count proper, I have to decide if I need to chain or if I'm just going to do a single crochet. This is my chain space is right next to my very last stitch, so there's no chaining just a single crochet in our last stitch. Really easy peasy. First and last stitch are always single crochets. We'll start there and now we have to decide what do we need to do in order to get to this chain space. Well our stitch is right here so we need to chain one, jump over that stitch so that we can get to our chain space and the same all the way down chain one and go in between our stitches in our chain space with a single crochet. So in between, right here is my last chain space and now I have my stitch here is right next to my last stitch so I need to chain one to skip over that second to last stitch to get to my final single crochet. That keeps our stitch count proper, keeps it accurate. You're not going to gain or lose a stitch along the way. So we do that one more time. This is a really easy stitch, very handy. Chain one, turn our work. Now our, our chain space is right here. So we're going to do our very first single crochet and there's my chain space. So I'm going to work right into it with my next single crochet. Now I have to do a chain one in order to skip over this stitch and a single crochet in the chain space all the way down and that's the way you do it. And it's really easy even with working with black once you get the hang of it it's going to be really simple. And again here's my last chain space, so single crochet and you always judge what you need to do before you get to our last one by how close or far away it is from your first or last stitch. I am right next to it, so we're going square into a single crochet. And that's our repeat. That's what we do. We want for the moss stitch, for this rectangle to get it to be five and a half by six and a half. I did my base chain and then 22 rows of moss that we just learned and then one row of single crochet. And I have one over here that's almost done so I can show you even though it's still black. I've got my last stitch right here. So in order to make the very last row look like the very first row or the last row of every other square, we're going to chain one, turn our work and a single crochet all the way down Every stitch gets a single crochet, so that will be 19 single crochets. And there's my very last stitch and then just pull through, fasten off and pull through. And you'll see this is approximately five and a half by six and a half. So they're all coming out the same size and with the same starting chain count. So there's the black
rectangle for our Harry Styles patchwork sweater that everybody wants one of. This is the moss stitch. So you learn the moss stitch and you learn how to make your rectangle so you can make a whole bunch of these. Pattern tells me we need 14. J.W. Anderson folks say you need 14 of these. So make 14 and meet me back here next time and I'll have a different square because I have all six of them ready to go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.